वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टूडे टॉपिक इज लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट ऑफ ब्रिक्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन डिस्कस लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट टू फाइंड सुटेबिलिटी ऑफ ब्रिक और डिस्क्राइब एनी टू लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट ऑफ ब्रिक्स और एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंट लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट कंडक्टेड ऑन ब्रिक्स टू एसेस द क्वालिटी so this is the answer there are three basic tests those are carried out for bricks number 1 comprehensive strength test number 2 water absorption test number 3 efflorescence test so describe it one by one number 1 comprehensive strength test comprehensive strength of bricks is the load bearing capacity before it ruptures when subjected to compressive stress hard and well burned bricks have more compressive strength than the porous bricks the crushing strength is the important factor for bricks because it decides the suitability of brick for different uses the crushing strength of brick can be find out with the help of crushing testing machine brick is fixed to the crushing testing machine and then compressive force is applied to the brick during testing operation the crushing strength of brick should be minimum 105 kg per cm square this is the picture of comprehensive strength test of brick number 2 water absorption test it is the percentage of water absorbed by the dry brick to its weight a brick is taken and it is weighed dry it is then immersed in water for a period of 24 hours it is weighed again and find the difference in weight indicates the amount of water absorbed by the brick bricks used in construction work should not absorb the water more than 20% of its dry weight if any brick absorb the more water that means it will lose its crushing strength and will produced effect of efflorescence this is the picture of water analysis test of brick in this this is container this is water and this is brick this is the top view of bricks where immerse into water and this is bricks where weighed after 24 hours of immersion number 3 efflorescence test if any brick absorb the water more than 20% of its dry weight along its pores by capillary action and carries with it dissolved salts the solution having white color will evaporates from brickwork and deposited on the surface these white deposits of salts are called efflorescence this taste of the brick is necessary because if salts are present in abundant on the surface then it will damage the bricks as well as the masonry and will prove ugly appearance to the building this is the picture of bricks after a fluorescence test so dear friends this is all about laboratory tests of bricks write your opinion in the comment section of this video you can also check the playlist in my channel related to construction materials and building materials videos If you enjoy this video please like it share comment and also subscribe my channel for getting latest upcoming construction materials and building materials related videos first so dear friends let's meet in another video thank you very much